All right, here we go. Question number 15 from our 1316. Homework number one. In my lab math, they want us to find the exact value of the expression. Notice it says do not use a calculator, and we're going to completely ignore that. We're going to use a calculator anyway. But first, we're going to look at how do we do this by hand. Let me start by writing down the expression over here. They want us to calculate 2 cosine of pi over 6 minus 6 tangent of pi over 4. Now, let's think a minute what this is asking us to do here. 2 cosine pi over 6, that means 2 times the cosine of pi over 6. And remember, in the unit circle, cosine is x. So really what we want to do is we want to go to pi over 6. We want to find the x coordinate and then multiply by 2. Okay? On the other side here, we've got 6 times tangent of pi over 4. So what we want to do for this expression is we want to go to pi over 4. We're going to have to calculate the ratio for tangent. Remember, tangent is y over x. And then we're going to have to multiply that by 6. So we have a little bit of work here to do. Now, let's go first to pi over 6 and find the x coordinate. In the unit circle, pi over 6, x coordinate, square root of 3 over 2. And so this is going to end up being 2 times square root of 3 over 2. So far, so good. Next, we need to go to pi over 4, and we need to look at doing y divided by x. Or if you watched a previous video, I said the fastest way to do tangent is flip the x, keep the y, and then multiply. So let's go to pi over 4 right here. Notice that pi over 4 is kind of a cool angle because your x and your y are the same. They're the same ordered pairs. So we're going to do 6 times. I said flip the x, keep the y, and then multiply. Flip the x, keep the y, then multiply. That's the easiest way I know of to do tangent. Now this is kind of cool because you've got the square root of twos and the twos. Those are going to cancel, which is going to leave us a one. One times six is six. On this first multiplication here, this two is understood to be two over one. And these twos are going to cancel, leaving us just square root of three. So our overall answer, our final answer should be square root of three minus six. Now, let's see if the calculator will verify that for us. And the first thing we need to notice is that we need to be in radian mode. I'm currently in degree mode. So I'm going to go shift, set up, angle unit, change to radians. Now I've got the little R up top. And now we should be able to type in the problem just the way it looks with the fractions and the pi symbols. So there's 2 cosine of pi over 6 minus 6 tangent of pi over 4. And if I hit equals, uh, okay, that's actually the same answer because if I were to take these two values and flip them around, Square root of 3 minus 6, the 6 is negative, so that's the same as negative 6, and the square root of 3 is positive. Negative 6 plus square root of 3, those are identical answers. So the calculator does verify that what I got is correct, and when I type it into my lab math, it shouldn't matter which order it's in. So I'm going to go with the first order here, not Star Wars. The, the order I had it in first here, square root of 3, minus 6, fingers crossed, bam, man, I hope that was helpful, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to put those in the comment section below, or you can text me, and thanks for watching.